All right, here are solutions to perfect problem six from math two fifty one. Um, basically, it's saying derive the product and the quotient rules using logarithmic differentiation. Um, then I give you a little hint on what might be a good way to do it. So basically, for the product rule, we want to say if we have some function that is really, we'll call it p for product, just the um, product of two different functions. And what we want to know is what the derivative of this guy is. So you try just taking the derivative of both sides of the equation right now, but that wouldn't help you because you'd have to use the product rule to take the derivative of this side, and we want to come up with the product rule. So what you want to do is take the log of both sides. Maybe we'll take the natural log of both sides. Um, and then if you remember your log rules, the log of something times something is the log of the first one plus the log of the second one. And that's a key point because now we don't have any multiplication going on anymore. We're just adding these things together. So now we can take the derivative of both sides. Let's see, to take the derivative, you have to be a little bit careful. This will be implicit differentiation because p, f, and g are all functions. So over here, we'll get 1 over p times p prime. All right, that's really the chain rule. The outside function is the natural log of x. The inside function is p. Same idea here. And same idea here. Um, so all three of these are the chain rule where the outside function is the natural log of x and the inside function is f or g or p. And so we get to here. Okay, so we have p prime is equal to, if we multiply both sides by p, p, maybe we'll put that, I'll distribute that p through on the left. So we get p times f prime over f plus p times g prime over g. All right, doesn't really look like the product rule yet, but remember that p is equal to f times g, right? So instead of a p right here, I can say p prime is equal to f times g times f prime over f. And over here, f times g times g prime over g. And what you may now be able to see is the beginning of the product rule. Let's see the f and the f cancel out, the g and the g cancel out, and what we're left with is that the derivative of a product is equal to, I guess, f prime g plus g prime f. Just rewrite the order so it looks more like the product rule there. Okay, um, we're gonna do the exact, I don't know who I'm asking that question to. Uh, we'll do the exact same thing over here, but now the quotient rule. So maybe q equals f over g. So the natural log of q, natural log of q, is the natural log of f over g. And then you remember your log rules, and you're like, oh, natural log of something divided by something. It's the natural log of the top minus the natural log of the bottom. And now we're in a step that looks a lot like this one here. All right, take the derivative of both sides. To do so, you're going to use implicit differentiation. So we get 1 over q, q prime is 1 over f, f prime minus 1 over g, g prime. Um, okay, now we're going to multiply both sides by q and get q prime is equal to q, f prime over f minus, well, yeah, I guess this will work fine. Q, G prime over G. But then you remember that Q is F over G. So we got Q prime is equal to F over G times F prime over F minus F over G times G prime over G. So we're almost there. What you notice now is, oh, I guess we're still not there. All right, so a little bit more work to do. But it's just algebra. These Fs cancel out here. And so what we have here in the denominator is G. And here we have G squared in the denominator. So to get a common denominator, I'll have to multiply this by G over G. So I'll get F prime G on the top. That's divided by G squared minus g prime f, and that was already divided by g squared, and so you get something like this, which is the quotient rule.
Um, now I guess that's the end of this perfect problem.